Hello and welcome to this video. Yeah, this video deals with um, a rather wide complex of opening names, but um, the starting moves are quite similar. Yeah, we are dealing with the Pilz defense, the Monlin defense and the Philidor in this video, which means the defenses that can start with D6, G6 or a combination of those moves. In fact, um, we can basically uh, differentiate between two complexes here. One is the Philidor, where black starts with d6 early on and later intends to play e5 and bishop to e7, or the Pilz modern, where there's usually a kingside fianchetto um, played by black. So um, I want to start with the Philidor's defense and then switch over to the Pilz and modern. So we go e4 and d6 is the starting move to initiate the Philidor's. Um, to clarify things, we already have looked at the Philidor defense in an earlier video, which started like this. This is the move order how Philidor yeah, envisioned his opening to be played uh, yeah, hundreds of years ago, in fact. Nowadays, black usually uses this move order to get to positions associated with the Philly doors. We go d4 and black goes knight to f6. Um, first of all, attacking our pawn. Black also might go e5 in this position. Rare, but possible. Um, in fact, he offers um, a potential queen trade here after this which is not something I do recommend. White might be slightly better in this position, but it still feels a little bit um, a little bit toothless to trade that early on. Knight f3 transposing to a regular Philly doors is probably um, the best and most ambitious option here. Knight f6 is mainly played. We play knight c3, cover the pawn, and now e5 leads to the modern move order of the Philidors. Um, in the Philidor chapter with 1e4, e5, knight f3, d6, I have explained why this is nowadays uh, the common way to reach that as um, the setup that black wants to go for is not reachable by e4, e5, knight f3, d6. There are move order issues. Okay, e5 by black. Um, Again, we would have this option now to take on e5 and go into an ending with this. Um, this is not all that promising for white. One issue is that after bishop c4, king e8, in fact, seems to be not much at all for the white player. A bit surprisingly, I think it looks like white should have a slight pull, but there is really not that much going on. It is um, a more ambitious choice to play knight f3. This is the absolute um, main line there nowadays, not the capture. Note that black in this position also has alternatives and we should look at them quickly. Knight bd7 is a way to play in order to prepare, prepare, um, prepare e5 without allowing the d takes e5 um, queen trade. Um, knight bd7, here I recommend to simply play knight f3 and after e5 to transpose into a position that we will look at in just a minute. Um, we will play bishop c4 here, by the way. Um, I have to mention that in this particular position there are alternatives here for white that are in fact far more aggressive and try to punish in some way black's move order liberty with knight bd7. The move mostly um, deemed as critical here is actually g4. A bit of an extreme looking move, this flank push, but there is a real logic behind it with the knights positioned as they are g5 is a serious, very serious threat now because the knight on f6 doesn't have a natural retreating square. The reason why I'm not uh, covering this here is that it is in fact rather complicated. If black goes h6, 
c6 e5 if he knows what he's doing this is probably a little bit better for white but rather complicated and i felt this is an additional workload that is unnecessary for a line that will probably never pop up if you ever however um expect your opening to uh, your opponent to play like that you can definitely think about preparing g4 in some detail but i don't think it's worth learning uh, just to be ready for this odd moment that this is going to be played against you. Um, Black also in this position, besides g6, which is the Pilz defense, has the move c6. I want to look at this later because um, some lines there are more looking like a Pilz than a Philidors. It's all a little bit of a transpositional maze here in some, in some cases. There was d6, g6 lines they they sometimes don't have such concrete move orders um so let's go look at the philly doors with e5 again i recommend knight f3 here now the move that black mostly plays is knight b to d7 that was his intention when he opted for this move order in the philly door or to reach the philly door Black wants to play knight bd7 and for the time being simply fortify the pawn on e5, hold the center. There are alternatives, but they are all leading to positions and lines that we have looked at before. For example, black could take and after knight takes, we reach an open filly door position that we've looked at via the traditional e4, e5, knight f3, d6, d4 move order bishop e7 g3 was the main line there black might also play knight c6 after which i recommend bishop to b5 this is transposing to basically a scotch four knights declined where after d4 black played d6 so this is covered already elsewhere knight bd7 is by far the most common move and it is um, what Black usually had in mind when he went for this opening in the first place. So what am we going to play? Bishop to c4. This is, I think, the most promising move and also the main line for ages and very reliable move. It um, positions the bishop on the most active diagonal, very natural play. Here, um, Black's main move is bishop to e7 and probably also the best move. Um, we can look at alternatives, however. If black now takes, um, it is in fact uh, a little bit hmm, yeah, inconsistent to do that now, because if you want to take on d4 in the first place, it doesn't make that much sense to commit to knight bd7. Yeah, so taking on move 4 is more logical. That being said, we have to still know what to do. Here, in fact, I think um, there are two decent moves. The move queen takes d4 leads to a position that we have actually covered via um, the e4, e5, knight f3, d6 move order. But knight takes d4 isn't bad either. After um, this move, black might have knight or might play knight b6, after which we will drop back to e2. This is a position after a further bishop e7 castles that we're going to look at um, in just a moment. Note that here you would have to go back to e2 as bishop b3 is leading to trouble. This bishop doesn't have many squares here with c4. But as being said, queen takes d4 is also fine. It's a completely um, open uh, choice now. I could have also just said, okay, take with the queen and just, it transposes. Both recaptures are completely fine. So this is rather rare yeah, that black takes on d4 because again, usually black tries to keep the center, hold the center, fortify e5 and not take. Um, the move bishop e7 is the main line here uh, by a mile. However, I want to quickly check the move h6 um, simply because this is actually played quite frequently surprisingly actually because bishop e7 is completely fine i think one reason could be that black players when they reach this position and they actually don't um yeah know stuff but try to um, 
yeah, calculate it over the board, they might be afraid that bishop e7, there could be lines with bishop takes or knight g5, and all this is stopped by h6. Still um, a pr pretty uh, slow move. Um, black, however, could have a different idea with h6, and this idea could be... I hope you enjoyed this preview of the Keep It Simple e4 repertoire. You can get the full course on chessable.com, which features the move trainer that makes it easy and simple to learn all the lies and remember them. Um, all lines are chosen with one thing in mind, keep it simple for you and make it difficult for your opponent.